yeah, yeah, defense yeah. was just, I was like, every single thing you were showing, I was like, oh, yeah. Dang. Uh, that's <laughs> makes that's a lot of sense. Yeah. Yeah. So, first thing I'm going to show was before he gets his hands locked. Wherever I feel his hands, that's where all my weight's going to be going. One of the most common offensive positions is to put his hand up under my shoulder and to reach, or keep that hand posted and then like pull his body up over my, my side right there. That way he can keep his hands locked on the side and I can't roll his lock through. So what I want to do, as soon as I feel his hands on my shoulder, I want to pin his hand to the ground or keep his hand from even getting onto the mat. So what I'm going to do right here, all my weight is going to be on that shoulder. You can see I'm on my toes, my knees aren't even on the mat, putting as much weight here forward Almost like I'm just trying to drive his hands right into the mat right here, all right? You can even tell right here, he could probably get his hands up under my, my chest, but he still can't lift that shoulder. I'm putting all my weight right here, all right? That's what's very important. And even when I'm doing that, my elbows are still up. Like, I don't want to put all that weight there and still have my, my, uh, my elbows down, because that's when people start to do those trapped arms and all that kind of stuff. So while my elbows are always up, making sure I'm putting as much weight on his hand as possible. You can even tell my hips are kind of off the ground, my knees are off the ground, 